first, and then I'll open comment first to the players and take questions to the players. Uh, first, you know, it's always disappointing when you lose. And, uh, but at the same time, I was real proud of our guys. I thought that they battled hard. Uh, when we fell behind, we came back and took the lead. Uh, the difference in the game is we, we couldn't find a way to put up zeros in that at any point from the middle on. Uh, they were scoring every inning. We just we had trouble keeping the ball in the ballpark. Uh, we misplayed a bunt, and uh, therefore we gave up a, a number of runs. But but I was also very proud of our guys. I felt that uh, we never gave up, which has been a tendency for us. And uh, we felt like if we could find a way to get the lead, seventh, eighth, and ninth inning, we're going to be in good shape. But we couldn't get over the hump. First and foremost, it's just an honor to be here and play in this atmosphere. A great crowd. Uh, a lot of people turned out. We had some fans come from back home. So it was just awesome to be here to start with. Um, as far as the game goes, uh, like Coach said, it would have been nice to win. Um, that's, that's what we're shooting for. We're here to, we're here to win. We're not here just to play. Um, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. But you know, some good things did happen. We swung the bats well. We played good defense. And we gave ourselves a chance to win there at the end. Andrew? Yeah. Like everybody have already commented on, we'd have, we'd have liked to win the game. You know, we came out here to win and, and compete, and I thought we did compete well. We had a couple of things go, go uh, against us, you know, with a couple of home runs and big situations, and we still fall back and find a way to tie it and take the lead back again. And it just seemed like we couldn't, would never, you know, it was like coaching to get over that hump. But uh, I thought we competed well, and I think we'll have a good chance to compete tomorrow for a couple of games and see what happens. Questions for just the players? Uh, yeah, please, for both of the players. Um, is the, as intense as the game was, back and forth, lead changes, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the outcome, obviously, not like you had would have liked it. What's the danger of a game like this taking steam out of you for an early game tomorrow afternoon? And how do you avoid that happening? Both guys would expound on that. Uh, I don't think there's any risk at all. I mean, we play each game one at a time, um, like it's our last. Like, you, you just never know. Um, so you take advantage of every opportunity, um, pitch by pitch, you know, game by game. So. I don't think there's any risk at all. We'll come out tomorrow with some fire. Um, we're up against the wall with one loss already in the tournament, so we're going to come out ready. Andrew? Uh, I think the team, our team, they have a special group of guys that want to compete every day and like to compete. And personally, for me, you know, I'm a senior. I've got a limited number of games left. Tomorrow could be my last game. As far as steam goes, I'll probably have more tomorrow than I did today, just for the simple fact that you know it may be the last time I'm out there. But um, we have a good team with a big group of guys who like to compete and like to get after, and we all see ourselves winning a couple tomorrow and having a chance on Sunday. So as long as we have our uh, attitude right, we have a chance. Can uh, you, both of you guys just talk about the, the mindset now going into playing in an elimination game? Uh, yeah, I mean, the mindset for us, I don't think changes. I think we'll go out the first game tomorrow and we focus on the first game, the first pitch, you know, and, uh, and work on that one. We'll play nine into that one, see how we come out. And then we turn our heads to the next game, and then we do the same thing. You know, one pitch at a time, one in at a time, just make plays, hit the ball around, get some runs, and take it on to Sunday. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. You know, play every game to win it. Um, not hold anything back, show up ready to go. So uh, we're excited about tomorrow, just like we were excited about today, and we keep pressing until until it tells us we're not playing anymore. Hey, and just one other thing, just one play during the course of the game, and you're out there standing there next to it as it's happening. How good was Adamson's catch in center? Good as you're going to see. Um, absolutely awesome. You went up and brought it back in a huge situation. Those runs ended up uh, meaning a lot. So um, kudos to Adamson. It was, it was awesome. You don't get to see that every day. Thanks. Any other questions from the players? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll take questions from Coach Case. Coach, you talked yesterday about the Friday night atmosphere. Uh, the Cardinals get this experience. They just talked about the atmosphere out there. How you thought your kids responded to it? I thought the atmosphere was good. I, you know, I, I never thought that um, we allowed it to really get rolling because it seemed like every time that the momentum shifted in their favor, we found a way to at least answer. So it never got really crazy to me. Uh, but I, I thought it was a great crowd. I thought uh, very, very supportive. Uh, I, I thought they were waiting to really get going. And I thought we did a pretty nice job of keeping that from happening, actually. Just talk about early on, a couple of runs. How much confidence does that give your team that you talk about confidence to get on the board early and, and to kind of take the crowd out of it? Well, you know, I think we came in with a lot of confidence. I think um, we, we've been pretty good at scoring runs, and we've been pretty good at staying after it. So somewhere during the game, 
uh, most of our games. We've, we've had an opportunity to put multiple runs on the board. Um, so I, nothing surprised from that standpoint. It might have settled us down uh, just a little bit. I thought Austin Lucas threw the ball extremely well early. Uh, for the first time that I can remember since I've been here, uh, he had a, a blister on his thumb, started bothering him in the second inning. Uh, I don't know that that um, affected him at all, but it didn't seem like he was throwing the ball quite as well when we got into the third, fourth inning as he was before. Uh, first time I remember anybody having that. But uh, but I, I thought I thought we did compete, and I thought you know the runs early probably helped. But then there were several times that um, maybe a team would get down, you know, because they kept extending, and every time they did, it seemed like we answered. Jim, what? What's been your uh, experience with, in these kind of circumstances with your team the next day after games that you guys had just experienced? And, you know, again, you heard me ask the kids about any danger of taking the steam out uh, for tomorrow or, you know, what you might have in the tank tomorrow playing so early after an emotional game like this. We may not win tomorrow, but it won't be because we're not ready to play. I, I just don't believe that about this group of guys. Uh, there's been a number of times that we've been beaten in a big series on a Friday night or the first game on Saturday for us, and we've turned around and won two in a row. I, I, I don't think that there will be a letdown. I'm not saying that we'll win. I don't think there will be a letdown. I mean, we played pretty hard uh, really most every day. And there, there was a time, I would say probably 12 games ago, that we started talking with our guys that this is tournament time because we were trying to get a buy-in in the first round of our tournament. And so since that time, we've been playing every game just like tomorrow, just like it was an elimination game. And we'll do everything within our power to, to go after that game tomorrow. We'll use whoever. We'll worry about Sunday come Sunday. But uh, tomorrow we'll go after it with everything we have. And then who goes? Who do you throw tomorrow? Hunter Rivers will start tomorrow. Uh, we, we would love to see him get the game going under control. Four or five innings would be fantastic. And then we'll, we'll combo it, um, much like uh, like we did tonight. We'll try to match certain guys in certain situations and, and hopefully uh, push the right buttons to, to throw some zeros up there. I just want to ask you just one other thing. Do you attach anything more than just coincidence to the matchup tomorrow that it's Southern Miss and that was the last team that you played when you all were in a regional in elimination do game? What do you attach anything more than just coincidence to the matchup that tomorrow is Southern Miss, and when you were in Tuscaloosa in this situation, it was Southern Miss then, too. Yeah, I, it would almost have to be coincidence. <laughs> I don't think the NCAA looked back to 2006 and said, let's see what can happen here, let's put it together. It's kind of four Any other questions for Coach?